Hey everybody, welcome back to Mixing Music Analog and MixingMusicAnalog.com and here on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to do some sound examples of the wonderful Audioscape V Comp Plus, their creation of the famous Stay Level Very Mute Compressor. Now if you have not checked out the unboxing video where I went over the spec sheet and went over the whole uh, insides and took a lot of close-up photos of this go check the link in the description box below you can check out the uh, the unboxing of the vcomp also in the description box below will be a link to the interview that I did with the owner of audioscape Chris Yetter we talked about the vcomp we talked about the company the way they source parts It was a really great interview go check that out as well and then also check out audioscapes website in the description box below if you want to check out any one of their units especially this really cool vcomp plus so what we're gonna do today is we're going to listen to this on a bunch of different things some clean electric guitars some lean vocals some bass and a drum bus just for kicks even though a very new compressor is not something i would typically uh put on a drum bus but it sounds cool in any event so we're going to go through the settings here again we have a real simple kind of a layout here you can see the image on your screen it's really a basic kind of a compressor right it's really famous uh you know recreation of the of the famous uh stay level by gates this is really really cool so we have a big input knob we have an output knob pretty simple input drives more signal output you can turn down to level match the uh the the volume or turn up the volume as the volume uh goes down when you're doing some compression we have um some three different modes here are single double and triple modes these are the attack times okay and then on the v comp plus which is uh, a little different from their original v comp they have a v comp and they have a VCOM Plus, which is this one. The VCOM Plus has a couple of different features. One of the features that's been added is they have nine different recovery or release times, where the original, I believe, only has three or four. Go check their website. I'm not absolutely sure. I haven't had that unit in front of me. But this has nine different release times, so it gives you a little bit more control. They also have this... Uh, stock and drive circuit little toggle uh, by putting it into drive mode you're pushing more signal into the input gets a little bit more coloration a little bit more gritty sounds really good especially on vocals we're going to check that out and then we have our beautiful meter here we have our great le nice little led jewel light here and then we have a power on off switch pretty simple to use so that's what we're going to do so before we start listening to this i want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and if this is your first time here also go out to mixingmusicanalog.com check out what i have going on over there sorry siri <laughs> check out what i have going on over there as well so let's take a listen so what we have here is we have a completely unmixed session here in studio one this is kind of a jazz track with a female vocal really really cool um this is uh and uh selena down by the palace really cool tune um no plugins on this session whatsoever because i want you to hear just what the v comp plus can do so we're going to start with a clean kind of, this is a jazzy kind of a tune we're going to do like a clean kind of an electric guitar kind of a thing going through like a fender deluxe kind of a vibe now what i have here on the board is i have uh this thing being inserted here onto one of the faders on the board here and we will be, be able to take it in and out of the circuit with the press of a button here and i'm sure i'll put some uh text on the screen to let you know when it's in and when it's out but you're going to hear the difference right away uh so that's what we're going to do okay so let's take a listen right now it is out of the circuit uh and we're going to go in and we're going to play back this electric clean guitar and i'm going to go ahead and if i can see this here make some adjustments here to the v comp plus and we're going to uh, dial in some compression and then i will insert it into the circuit so here we go <laughs>
sounds really great. So I really enjoy the drive circuit. That's really cool. It pushes a little bit more saturation into it. Really, really nice. Again, we're doing a fair amount of compression here. It's a little bit difficult for me to see here. I want to keep this centered in the camera for you as much as I can. But we're doing at least 10 dB of compression on this. Uh, and it sounds really nice and fat and warm. So a very mute compressor with all these tubes is going to give you that real thick kind of sound. It squeezes it really, really nice. And again, I've backed off uh, usually um, actually doing uh, using some of the different attack modes here. Get a little bit faster attack. You get a little bit more compression. And then I slow down the release time or the recovery time a little bit to let it hold on to that note a little bit more. It's really difficult to make this thing sound bad. If you want something with some density and some thickness and really pull it forward and just kind of squeeze it together and kind of give you that nice, warm, round sound, this is the kind of compressor you want, a very mute compressor. So that's on a clean guitar. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna take it out of the circuit now. Let's go ahead and let's put this on a bass. This is something else that it would sound really good on. And again, I'll mess around with the settings a little. I'll start with our single mode. I will go ahead and go on our fastest release time here. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. I'll start with it on the stock mode and then we'll put we'll pump in the drive here, but here's our bass guitar. So really thick sounding, really thick sounding. Love this on bass a lot. It really brings up the low end. And when I was using the drive circuit and pushing it a little harder, you could hear some of the breakup and some of the distortion. You may or may not want that in your track, but I wanted to kind of demonstrate what that could kind of do. This could be really cool if let's say you have like a bass amp track and a bass DI and you're blending it together and maybe you're inserting this on say your amp track, you want to put a little bit of distortion in, and then you want to blend a more cleaner track together on a second fader or something like that. That could be very, very useful. So that's bass. Let's listen to this on a drum bus. This is a mono drum bus. Now again, I wouldn't typically, I'm taking it out of the circuit, I wouldn't typically use this on, on a drum bus per se, but on something like mono rooms, or something, or or mono overheads might be something really cool. Uh, let's try this. Let's uh, let's let's see what this does. You do maybe a little bit slower attack, fast release. Let's see what we have here on drums.
So, I mean, really kind of breaks it up, kind of distorted. Again, I'm exaggerating, exaggerating it for you. So this could be really cool on something, like I said, like a, uh, a drum uh, um, room mono track or something like that. We just want to bring a little bit of break up into the circuit. You can use this for that. Let's listen to this a little bit more. I'll clean it up a little bit. Uh, this It is out of the circuit right now. So here we go. So again, sounds really great in the drive circuit. I like that a lot. Let's listen to it now on a lead vocal and then we'll end this video. This is where I think it shines the most. This is where I really found that I really enjoyed it, especially on this particular vocal. Really, really cool. So again, we'll start with the stock mode here. Maybe a medium recovery time. We'll do like a medium attack. Let's see what we have here with the lead vocal. Night. Royal clowns talking syllables and nouns, never wrong and never right. And down at the palace, two cents are priceless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People be tripping on their fears, they be sipping, but we got our own thing going down. Cause there's no denying that tonight will be sublime as long as you're around. Almost 20 dB of compression and on, that's in the stock mode. Really can hear it audibly here on this vocal. It really squeezes her voice together. It pulls it right up front. It gives it a nice density to it. I love this thing on lead vocals. This thing is fantastic on lead vocals. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this harder than I probably normally would. So you could hear this, especially over YouTube because they're always compressing the audio. But this thing sounds fantastic on vocals. Let me see if I could be a little bit more subtle and we'll kick in the drive circuit on her voice and see how that sounds with her. Here we go. We're going to take it out of the circuit. Here we go. Night. Royal clowns talking syllables and nouns never wrong and never right. Down at the palace, two cents are priceless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People be tripping on their fears, they be sipping, but we got our own thing going down. Cause there's no denying that tonight will be sublime as long as you're around. Oh, those nights have a little taste of life. You and I. Pleasure is endless down at the palace. So there it is. There's the V Comp Plus. This is a wonderful unit. I mean, AudioScape now with me is two for two. The Opto Compressor was fantastic. I'll link that in the description box below if you want to check out the uh, Opto Compressor, the LA2A. Sounds great too. But this has a lot more character. If you're looking for a compressor that has a lot of character, very Mu style is usually the way to go. Um, something that's thick, dense, round, warm, um, with the addition of the drive circuit, a little bit aggressive, and you can pump this thing pretty good, hit 10, 15 dB of compression, and it doesn't sound like it's breathing and pumping. It's very smooth and it's very round. A very mute compressor is really something you want to take a look at, and this is a wonderful, wonderful piece. This I even like more than the opto compressor, and I really like that if you saw that video. This thing is a home run. This one I would highly recommend that if you're in the market for a stay level-ish compressor, there's only three companies that make them that I'm aware of. The Gates Stay Level from back in the 50s. Good luck if you got a wallet deep enough for that. Um, Retros makes one as well. The Retro Stay Level, that's about a $3,500 compressor. This clocks in at under 1700 bucks. 
Now, the thing with Audioscape, like I've told you in the other videos, unboxing and things that we've done with Audioscape, is they're, they don't have a lot of units in stock. They build these things by hand, one at a time. They only release new products, whatever they were able to build that week. I believe it's Wednesdays and Saturdays. Check their Instagram page, their feed. I'll link that in the description box as well. And you have to get on their website and buy them up because they only build a handful of these things a week. And it's all due to, due to taking the time to build them one at a time, small shop. And today, year 2021, with all the component shortages, Components are a little harder to come by these days. And if you watch the interview that I did with Chris over at Audioscape, he's really passionate and really particular about the about the parts that he puts in his products. And if you go watch the unboxing video, we go through the entire spec sheet of all the tubes and all the circuits, transformers, and everything that's in there. What does that mean to you? That means if you want an Audioscape VCom Plus or any of their other units, you got to stay close to their Instagram page so you know when they're putting stuff out for sale and you get on the website and you buy it up. This thing is a home run. The LA-2A Opto Compressor, I really liked. And if that's your thing, I would highly go recommend you check it out. But this thing smashes it. I love this unit. Okay? I don't get anything. This is not a, a paid video. He hasn't paid me for this. I don't get anything if you buy his stuff or not. I'm not an affiliate of his of any kind. But full disclosure, if I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, I apologize. He did send me this unit free of charge so I can bring this demo to you just like he did with the opto compressor, but this is not a paid video. He's not gonna see this video before it goes live, Chris at Audioscape, and we didn't discuss anything that was gonna be said in the video. So, if you wanna check out a really cool very mute compressor at a reasonable price, I would check this out, I really, really like it. Now, the last thing I will say that Chris mentioned to me, and I hope I get this right, Chris, that with the VU meter, although it seems like it's responding perfectly here, um, this type of VU meter in this particular unit, he was saying, depending on your electricity, the the the, reg, the, um, the variation that maybe you may have with your electrical at your wall outlet, the, the, the meter may not respond exactly the way you want. You may need to kind of calibrate it. And if you take the, the unit off, the cover off, there is a little set screw with a little Phillips screwdriver where you can go ahead and you can just tweak it to make sure that it goes back to zero. He said that's not a defect of the product. It has to do with the variation in the electrical that comes in from your wall. So if you do pick one of these up, it's in his instructions as well, but I figured I would mention it. And if you notice that maybe it's not going back to zero the way you want, you can pop the cover off and you can just tweak it with a little, fill, a little uh, flathead screwdriver and he says you'll be good to go. So I wanted to mention that as well. Once again, all of the links for Audioscape will be in the description box below. All of the prior videos I've done for the unboxing and also for the interview that I've done with Audioscape as well as the uh, Opto Compressor video and unboxing will be in the description box and I recommend that you go check them out. So leave comments below and let me know What'd you think of this product? Have you used any of Audioscape's products before? If you have, which ones do you have? I know a few of you do. Leave them in the comments below. Tell me what your experience has been with Audioscape and their different compressors and EQs and such, and let me know what you think. And if you have a stay level, something other than the Audioscape V Comp, what do you have? Which one do you have? Do you have the retro unit? Do you have another third party unit that uh, a third party company that build a replica? I only know of a couple that are out there. I'd love to know. Leave comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Once again, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Go out to Mixing Music Analog. Check out what I have going on over there. And until the next video, I've been Dave with Mixing Music Analog and MixingMusicAnalog.com. Thank you so very much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.